Folks, Mitch Van Tassel back with you, finishing up for tonight's games. The Clippers, very impressive, 111-106 oh, victory over the Utah Jazz. The Clippers take the 2-1 series lead. Uh, L.A. was down, down by as many as 14 in the third quarter, though they won every quarter after the first, which they were outscored 34-21 to for the Clippers. Got to give Chris Paul respect where respect is due. 34 points, 10 assists, 12 of 22 shooting, 8 of 8 from the free throw line, was making big shots down the stretch of this game. I believe he had a stretch where he had uh, 6 or 7 uh, points. He might have made a 3 in there, but he was certainly uh, just doing what he had to do to win this game. Blake Griffin was hurt in this this game it was a toe injury we'll have to see what his status is moving forward he did not return at 11 points five of nine shooting I got Paul Pierce some minutes. Pierce did not score, though. Uh, did have three rebounds. Uh, Luke Richard Mabute, I thought, was very good. He had some putbacks, big offensive rebounds, made some huge shots, played some good defense. Uh, looks like Chris Paul's getting in it with the crowd. I don't know or if he's just uh, talking to a coach. This game just went final, but we just saw that. Uh, give uh, Mabute a lot of Give the Clippers a lot of credit. A lot of people, myself included, have questioned this team's you know mental fortitude, their toughness. They got the game in this one. They were down in the third quarter. Uh, raucous crowd. Of course, Utah hasn't had a home game in a while. For the Jazz, Derek Favors only two points, one of three shooting. Not going to get the job done. Uh, also missed two uh, critical free throws in this game. Speaking of which, DeAndre Jordan was 7 of 14. Uh, not great. But, you know, a guy who's that bad, 50%, is actually an upgrade for him. Uh, Hayward dropped 40, 13 of 21 shooting, 10 of 11. George Hill had 26 points, played very well. Uh, the rest of the stories, though, as we said, Derek Favors, not good. Joel Ingles, nine points, uh, three of eight shooting, all of those from three. Boris Diaw, only three points. Joe Johnson, 15 points off the bench. Uh, Rodney Hood had six, and Nato also had five. Now, Utah went six minutes in the fourth where they didn't have a point. They were going to Joe Johnson a lot. Uh, I felt they should have been going to Hayward. Joe Johnson, a guy I have a lot of respect for, a guy who certainly made big shots in this league, and he got shots. Uh, he ended that big scoring drought that they have. So he certainly did things in this game. But uh, that's something that Utah is going to have to look at moving forward is do you let Joe Johnson try to get the shots, you know, a lot of the ISO Joe, or do you go to Gordon Hayward who had 40 points? George Hill had a big three. They went to him at one point. Uh, they were down four. They made the three-point shot to get back into it, uh, cut it to one uh, the Clippers made two free throws, but Utah just, uh, um, the Clippers fouled Utah when they were up three, uh, moving in inbounds, and then Boris Diaw missed the first and then made the second, so that's just not gonna get the job done when they, uh, when they play the foul game, it's usually the other way around. You want to make the first and hopefully miss the second, but he, uh, he messed that one up pretty badly, so, Moving forward, we obviously have to keep an eye on that Blake Griffin injury. Rudy Gobert, not sure if he'll be back for Game 4. We'll see if Blake Griffin is able to play, but he was effective in the time he had, only 18 minutes. Again, I missed most of this game, but I caught uh, basically the entire fourth quarter in this one. But like we said, we were finishing up with the Oklahoma City and... Uh, Houston game, the Bruins game I was watching, so those were all the things. But And, of course, for Utah, what are they going to do in late-game offensive situations? You know, this wasn't a final shot like it was in Game 1. This was a lot of Joe Johnson getting the ball and being in control and being the guy who was asked to create the offense, get his own shot, and do things. And it didn't work out in this one, so... It's going to be certainly something to look at moving forward. All right, so we got some games tomorrow, of course. We got a pretty full schedule for Saturday, starting pretty early at 3 o'clock. Toronto, Milwaukee. Then we have Washington and Atlanta. You know, last chance for Atlanta time. That series is looking like it could be quick. San Antonio, Memphis, and then Golden State, Portland, a very late game. Let's see if we can bring them all to you tomorrow. And, of course, as we've said for each video, we appreciate the subscriptions. We appreciate all shares. And I also will probably do a video tomorrow talking about this Kevin Durant injury and him resting because I'm not cool with resting in the playoffs. So be sure to stay tuned for all that. Thank you all so much. Have a good night.